secant cubed of x is a composite function. It's secant inside the cubed function. So to find its derivative, we must use the chain rule. The derivative of f of g is f prime of g times g prime. Now f is the outside function, which in our case is a thing cubed. And g is the inside function, which in our case is the secant function. So let's go ahead and apply the chain rule to find the derivative. We begin with f prime, the derivative of the outside function. The derivative of a thing cubed is found by taking that exponent of 3 down in front as a factor. Then don't change the inside function. The inside function is secant, so we don't want to change that. Then reduce the power by 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. You could also put the 2 there, secant squared of x, but I think it makes it a little more clear how this is just the power rule when we put the 2 there. So this looks just like the derivative of x cubed. It would be 3x squared, except in this case, instead of x, we have that inside function, secant x. Lastly, we need to multiply by g prime, the derivative of that inside function. The derivative of secant is secant tangent, so we multiply by secant tangent, and that's our derivative. Last thing we want to do is a bit of simplification. We have secant squared times secant, so final answer is 3 secant cubed x times tangent x. And that is the derivative of secant cubed.